Hi, I'm Brian Williams. I teach punk rock yoga in New York City. I also teach at Asali Yoga in Harlem. Today we're going to learn about crow pose, learn how to perform crow pose. Crow pose is great. Um, as you can see, I'm practicing in my apartment today because with, with yoga, you don't really have to go to a studio. In fact, sometimes the best thing you can do is just put your mat down in your living room and uh, put on some of your favorite music or not and just begin to move to practice what you know and to teach yourself as you go. So, crow pose. Crow pose is an arm balance. It's actually one of the first arm balances most yoga students learn. It is challenging, but I'm going to break it down into several steps for you today so you can practice each step and build and sort of take a journey into crow um, going at your leisure. And each, each step along the way is a yoga pose unto itself. To come into crow, we're going to do a simple squat to start. You should be pretty warmed up, so I would suggest doing a few rounds of sun salutations, some low lunges, some high lunges, um, things that will open up your hips a little bit, some warrior twos, because you're going to stay in the squat for a bit. Once you um, get into the squat, your feet want to turn out 45 degrees, and you want to sit up really nice and tall through the spine, so you're as tall and long as possible in your back. We're going to plant the hands on the ground. The hands, the fingers should be spread wide. The thumbs should not be stretched all the way out, however. You want to really press down into your fingertips as well. You'll notice that the wrist creases are parallel with the front of the mat, so the arms are really supported, really straight, really aligned. And I'm going to press down through my fingertips, giving myself a strong foundation. From our simple squat, we're going to begin to lift the hips. You're going to press down through your fingertips a lot, keep the hips high and lift through your belly, and you're going to start to feel this in the inner thighs, but we want that. You're going to lift your hips, you're going to lift onto the balls of your feet, we're going to squeeze the knees into the upper arms. You can go on the outside or you can try to go on the backs of the arms. When you're starting out, it works a little bit better if you go to the outside of the arms. Lean forward, look ahead, look at one spot on the floor ahead of you. All right, so we're gonna lift up, we're gonna squeeze in, we're gonna lean forward, looking forward, take one foot off the ground. Awesome, then try for two feet off the ground, or you can just alternate. One foot goes up, another foot goes up, and switch back and forth until you get used to that feeling. Come down and take a rest when you need to. Child's pose is your friend. From there, once you get used to one foot up and another foot up, then you can work on squeezing the two feet together. It takes time, but you will get it. So in the end, when you're all the way through your crow pose and the many variations and steps along the way, it looks something like this. And you want to hold it as long as you can stay up. Breathe deeply. And you'll notice I'm really squeezing those knees in. I'm really lifting up through my belly. And I'm really pressing down through my fingertips. Right, come down. Give those wrists a little massage. So that was a little bit about crow pose. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will make it part of your practice. Just a review. When you come into the squat, you want to place the hands shoulder distance apart on the mat. Toes should be turned out about 45 degrees and your knees should point the same direction as your toes. You can totally be in squat pose. I was about to say chill in squat pose, but that is never the right word for that pose. From there, you press into your hands, you lean a little bit forward, and you're going to start to lift your hips up, come onto the balls of your feet. From there, squeeze your knees into your upper arms. Really press in through the knees and use some inner thigh strength there. Begin to lift the belly towards the spine and from there take one foot off the ground and then the other over time. Maybe you can squeeze the big toes together which will give you another little inner boost and help to keep you flying. 
I hope you had fun. I hope you will make crow pose a part of your daily yoga practice, and I hope to see you soon in New York City. Namaste.